Hey guys, I'd like to apologize for my disheveled appearance. It's the end of the day. I just finished all my charts, saw all my patients. I'm ready to go home for the weekend, but I really wanted to uh, record this video for you guys because I think this is a very important topic and a topic that definitely interests a lot of people when they're going into a career field. The topic is how do you make money? How much do you make? And how fast can I become a millionaire doing this job? So that's what this video is all about. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Boris. I'm a board certified physician assistant working in primary care, and also medically supervised weight loss. And like I said, the topic of this video is how to become a millionaire as a physician assistant. So if you're watching this video, you probably know what a PA is. You probably know approximately what we make, you know, on average, starting at around 100,000 can go up as high as like 200 or more in certain specialties, such as cardiothoracic surgery. And uh, what else is there? Dermatology can pay quite a bit. Uh, but usually we uh, fall somewhere between 100 and maybe like 120, 130 thousand dollars a year. That is about the average for a physician assistant. We don't make as much as physicians. Of course, we don't go to school nearly as long as physicians. So you know we're compensated well, but not quite as much as a doctor. So how do you become a millionaire as a physician assistant? Definition of a millionaire is pretty simple. You have a million dollars. So the way I'm going to do this today is I'm gonna pretend that you start out with nothing, you have zero, and you just graduated physician assistant school. Let's say you're, I don't know what the average is exactly, but I think most of my class was about like 23, 24, uh, maybe 22 when they started. So they were about you know, 25, 26, 27 when they finished PA school. Of course, I was a couple of years older. I ended up going to the military you know, before PA school, so that's what it was. I, uh, I ended up being a little older for my class. But most people are, you know, 25, 26, 27 when they get out of PA school. So that being said, I'm saying your current age is 25. And then I already, you see that I populated the numbers here. I already played with this and I saw that if you invest about $500 a month, starting at 25 years old, starting with absolutely no money, it'll take you until you're 56, about 31 years to become a millionaire. How did I get this number? So the fastest, uh, not the fastest, the most reliable and the most common way that Americans save for retirement and become wealthy is their 401k. It's really simple. It's really boring. They just kind of take a portion of their paycheck every single month and they just contribute it to this 401k, basically a retirement account that you know is uh, split up through certain funds and basically just makes them money while they do nothing. So they put it away, they save, they're forced to save because it's just coming right out of their paycheck. And then that money makes money year over year over year. How is this number calculated, you might ask? So I'm using Dave Ramsey's calculator. It's a retirement calculator. We're not exactly using it for retirement. We're just using it to see how long it would take to become a millionaire. Uh, and I'm saying $500 a month contributed monthly is pretty average. I think that's definitely affordable for most physician assistants. And it's between five and maybe 8% of your monthly take home pay, uh, depending on how much you make as a physician assistant, whether you make like 100, 110, or maybe 130, 140 kind of later in your career as you get more experience. So either way, I think $500 a month, monthly is definitely affordable for most physician assistants. How is this calculated right here, the annual rate of return? I use 9%, Dave Ramsey, based on this research right here, says 10 to 12%, and this research is actually legit, I checked it out. Uh, it's uh, right here, this nyu.edu uh, study right here, basically tracking the annual return of the S&P 500, which is the average of the 500 biggest companies in the United States that year how much they returned um, to their tax holder or to their uh, stockholders, shareholders. So you can see the numbers wildly fluctuate, 45% return one year, negative 8% another year, negative 20, negative 38. You know, this was obviously a bad few years, uh, then kind of neutral and then boom, 48%, then minus two, then plus 42, then plus 30, minus 37. It goes kind of crazy, you know? So that's why you don't really watch your uh, retirement account closely or you'll have a freaking heart attack. You just kind of let it sit and over the course of 30 years is where he got this number between 10 and 12%. So basically through the power of constantly putting away money and through the power of compound interest at an average of 10 to 20%, or sorry, 10 to 12% is how you get this number, how your money grows. So I use 9% just to be extra conservative in case anyone had any qualms about these uh, 10 to 12%, I use nine, okay? So this is very, very realistic based on the 30 year average return of the S&P 500. So as you can see, $500 a month at an average of 9% annual return will get you to millionaire status starting from zero, from scratch, starting at age 25, 
contributing until age 56, so 31 years. You work for 31 years, you contribute, you have a very good lifestyle with your PA salary, and you just contribute this much, and you become a millionaire. So that's the, the simplest and the most reliable way to do it. There are definitely other ways to do it. What you could also do is you can invest in other assets that pay you while you sleep, you know, passive income. You can start a business, you can start a website, you can start a YouTube channel that uh, might get successful one day and might not. You can uh, invest in real estate, like I just said. You can rent out houses, you can buy houses that are always going up in value uh, if you, you know, choose wisely. You can start your own business, and I'm actually really excited to say that pretty soon, I think next month or possibly the month after, I'm going to interview a physician assistant who started her own practice, which is not very common, but it's very doable. And so, you know, you start your own business, you can scale that. You're not the only provider. You can hire other providers under you. You know, you can actually scale that. You can build a big practice as a physician assistant. A lot of people don't know that. So basically, what am I saying? This is kind of the slow, more reliable way to do it. But let's say you, I don't know, you have a side gig. Let's say you work at an urgent care. Let's say you work at a wound care clinic. Let's say you just pick up a couple extra hours every week or a few, you know, every other week or something, and you make some more money and you just throw that all at your 401k or whatever investment uh, tool that you want to use. So let's say, you know, you make, I don't know, 300 extra dollars a weekend and you contribute all of that to your 401k. All right. So that becomes 500 or sorry, that becomes $800 monthly now. So now if you do this for the same amount of time, well, now you're $1.6 million in that 31 years. But let's say you just want to know how long it takes to become a millionaire. So let's keep playing with it, keep playing with it, and boom. So now, instead of 56, it's 51. So you just cut off five years by putting in maybe a couple hours a week of work, uh, if you get the right gig, and putting in two, $300 extra into your 401k, you save yourself five years of your life by... Uh, becoming a millionaire sooner. And that's assuming you want a million dollars to retire. Most of us will probably want more because a million dollars just isn't what it used to be, but whatever, it's a good goal. So my point is compound interest, continuously making more money. What happened here? Uh, compound interest, continually saving money, not spending it, not you know succumbing to lifestyle creep and just constantly putting money away into reliable uh, vehicles for investment is how you become a millionaire very reliably. And as a physician assistant, you should, unless your lifestyle is crazy, you should have plenty of disposable income to at least afford, you know, $500 a month uh, to contribute to a 401k. I know everyone's situation is very different. Some people have big families. Some people have all kinds of student debt. You know, I understand that this is not maybe realistic for some people, uh, especially early in their career. But I just wanted to kind of uh, drive the point home that, yes, as a physician assistant, it's very, very possible to become a millionaire actually quite quickly, you know, 30 years if you just do the bare minimum of $500 a month and much, much faster if you can contribute much more. And also, let's is, uh, this is straight up just 401k. I'm not even talking about other assets. So let's say you buy a house. Well, your house is going up in value, plus you're constantly getting equity in it every single time you make a monthly mortgage payment. So that's adding to your net worth, you know, and that counts towards your millionaire status. If you start a business, it starts paying you more, you know, maybe your income doubles, triples, who knows how much more you could make. Or if you just have lots and lots of other smaller streams of income, your income goes up, you could put more money away, that will make this faster. So it could actually be much easier and quicker to become a millionaire if you plan these things smartly. But also if you just do it, you know, like most people do, the slow grind, just putting money away every single month and, you know, relying on the S&P 500 and index funds such as that, or, you know, some other reliable 401k, uh, vehicle for investment, you could become a millionaire as a physician assistant in as little as 31 years. All right, guys, I know money topics are definitely fun when you're considering your career. You know, you're going to put in all this time, all this effort into becoming a physician assistant or whatever career you choose. You want to know how much am I going to make? How quickly can I become a millionaire or whatever my goal might be? Oh, and also just one quick thing here. So why is this million dollar mark so interesting and why is it so important? Well, here's why. Let's just pull out a calculator here and do some really quick math. So, $1 million. It's definitely not enough to like live lavishly for the rest of your life, but it's definitely enough to survive for the rest of your life. So, $1 million, if you see my numbers here, if you have $1 million in the bank, I know right now rates of return for like savings account are basically zero, they're useless, but if you use something such as this, you know, you put your money into a reliable 
blue chip stock that pays a solid dividend, first off, that stock is also probably going up, you know, over time eventually. Uh, but in addition to that, they also pay you every year. In this case, you know, 6%, 5%, 4%, 2%, uh, depending on which stock you pick. Uh, they'll pay you that much percent for having money in their company. So if you put that million dollars, again, not financial advice, definitely don't put all your eggs in one basket, but this is just for the sake of simplicity. If you put that million dollars in, I don't know, Hasbro, let's say you think that the uh, toy market is not going to go anywhere. Hasbro is going to be successful for a number of years, and you think that they're reliably going to keep this dividend up. So let's say 3.5% dividend, right? So let's pull out our trusty calculator, million dollars times... 0.035. That pays you $35,000 a year for literally doing nothing except keeping your money in Hasbro stock. So while your stock is probably going up, you know, year over year, sometimes going down, but eventually going back up at that 9 to 10% range uh, year over year, you're also getting $35,000 a year for literally just sitting on your butt. Now, $35,000 a year is not exactly a million dollars a year. It's not a lot. It's not a lot to live lavishly on, but if you're not working, if you're not doing anything, $35,000 a year is quite a good travel budget. It's quite a good retirement budget. Let's say you and your husband, you and your wife, whoever, you want to get an RV and you'd want to just travel the country. You know, that's your retirement plan. I think $35K a year is definitely enough to do something like, like that on, assuming you already have the RV. So like, I don't know, just a, just a way to put that into perspective. If you have a million dollars at your disposal in the bank, you could definitely stop working and just live your life and enjoy your life if that's your goal. So that's why I think that million dollar mark is definitely a good one to shoot for. All right, guys. Anyway, finances are definitely a big passion of mine. I love talking about them. To some people, they're just like, you know, white noise and they can't stand talking about it. But to me, it's really interesting. And like I said, if you're going to consider a career, especially one in which you work so hard, like a physician assistant, you probably want to know what it's going to pay you and future wise, you know, what you can expect when you can expect to retire and, you know, live life the way that you want to. So anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. Have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video.